to the judges and the stewards from obedience, from the winner and the runner-up. So Mary, I've got a, a list of this entire team. There are trying names, and they all have very specific jobs. So what will happen? The judge will be following the competitors around, doing their demonstration, and uh, his chief steward will be, for example, in the heel work, will be giving the indications of the moves that the dog is required to do. So let's meet them both. Ria McCover and Vito, who won the competition, and Geraldine Stedman and Jazz, who was the reserve. So they're getting set up now. There are a number of exercises you're going to see. They're about to start the heel work, and uh, they're probably going to do it together, not individually. Both dogs, of course, because it was a dog competition today. It's the bitch competition tomorrow. The judge will be behind. He has a scribe with him who writes the faults if and when they're given. The dogs will be required to walk at a normal pace, a medium pace, a slow pace, and a fast pace. They'll have to turn to the right, they'll have to turn to the left, they'll have to go in different, they'll have to take up three different positions, a stand, a sit, and a down, on command, they must do it. So these two having to perform absolutely together, and they'll be getting the same instructions as they go from Paul Evans. Just to identify them for you, with the uh, short hair and the glasses, that's Rhea McGovern with Vito. And with the longer blonde hair there, that is Geraldine Stedman with Jazz. Jazz is 11 years, 10, 10 months, and Vito is just 6 years old. So here's the first of the positions there. The dog takes the position. This is the sit position. It must be picked up immediately without hesitation. And this is purely a demonstration. They've done their hard work today and whatever they do, either right or wrong, there are no points awarded or taken away. Rear is the winner and Geraldine is the reserve. Great honour for both of them. You saw the turn there, the tight turn. In heel work, as is uh, in the heel work to music competition, the dog must keep to station. They've got to keep there the shoulder more or less against the uh, thigh of the handler. Uh, and uh, they've been told to stand there. That's the stop. The indication can be either by voice or it can be given as a hand gesture and the dog stands still until picked up again and mustn't move until it is picked up again. Well done, both of them there. And it does look as though Vito is having a little bounce as he trots along there. It's been a long day for them, but you've already won love. It doesn't matter what you're doing here, but it's a lovely demonstration. The dogs have to concentrate so hard, and there's the final of the three positions. That's the down. And as I said, you know, they have to do a left turn and a right turn. The right turn is slightly more difficult to keep the dog tight to you. What you mustn't do, or what the dog mustn't do, is lean on. They need to be close, as close as can be, but they mustn't lean on. So they're not actually reacting to a push from the leg to push them in a direction or anything like that. They just keep station. And this is a pretty good demonstration. And to do the two of them operating together there is really tremendous. Well done. That's just the demonstration of it. The actual event takes five minutes in the ring. Each dog has five minutes on its own in the ring and gets put through its paces. So now we're going to see Rhea and uh, Vito, and I think we're going to see the send away. And you'll see the steward there pointing across the ring. There's a triangle of uh, pots, if they like, look like sort of flower pots turned upside down. There they are. And the dog is going to have to be stopped in that area. Nicely done. Have a little sniff at the pot, but straight down. 
and must stay there. The handler then walks towards the dog and will walk away, turning right and coming away, and the dog mustn't move until called back. Returns correctly, and the exercise isn't finished until they take the proper position at the end with the dog at the sit. There we are. Perfect. That's the send away. And now we've got uh, Geraldine is coming, and I, I think this is possibly, I can't see what, I think it's possibly the retrieve. And this is, it's, you think it's just a simple exercise, but the dog, it could be anything that the judge chooses. And here it looks like a soft, cuddly toy. The dog's going to go for that when it's commanded, to pick it up without mouthing, mustn't move it on the ground, did that perfectly, bring it back, and then present it, not too close, you can't actually see it there past the other ring steward standing there, but the position has to be correct, and then come round to the end, exercise over when the steward tells him. That's it, that's the send, that's the uh, retrieve. Nice simple exercise and very well done there by Jazz and Geraldine Stedman. So now I expect... What are we going to get here? This is distant... It's actually called distant control where the handler moves 40 feet away or so and now the dog has six positions to take. They're preordained positions that the dog must take on command. There's the second, that's the down, that's the stand, that's the down again, and up into a sit. And that gesture that was uh, given there by Geraldine is what she does to get the dog to do a stand. It can be verbal, it can be by signal, but the dog then stays until it's brought in to finish. There we are, very nice. Excellent scores. These were the best two here today, and you can see why. Still, after a very long day, they're performing absolutely splendidly. And we're going to the, uh, I think it's the final exercise now. This is the scent discrimination. This one's always quite fun. Uh, a pattern of cloths are laid out on the ground, and they're here in front of the... Uh, uh, the great and the good of the kennel club who are sitting on the front row down there and there are six cloths in a row here the pattern's a very simple one and there's going to be a cloth which has the judge's scent on it it's been placed over the dog's nose the other one which is identical to it this has got the judge has handled these cloths so it's got his scent on it that's placed in the pattern the dog now is taking the scent or will take the scent in just a moment. You can see the cloth in the hand there. Give the dog the scent, that's it. And then we'll be sent to retrieve that cloth. Well, if you saw it placed, it's uh, the fourth one along. It's in the middle of that line. It's the fourth one, whichever way you're going. But the dog may go past them all, sniff, 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 have a look, 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 have a look. Not sure, not sure, not sure, not sure. Ah, there it is. He's got a good... Now, nice presentation. Maybe a little bit close. <laughs> it's very excited in this massive room. That's tremendous. Well done, indeed. Well done, <laughs> Maria and Vito. So they've spent all day doing obedience. So it's not like a simple training exercise that you might give your dog. It takes a lot of hard work to get the dogs up to this standard. So that was a lovely performance. Uh, not quite sure what uh, they decided to do now. Oh, it's the same. We're going to have the, the same exercise with uh, Geraldine and Jazz. So they're both doing the same exercise. The dog doesn't look, can't see where that is. And the owner keeps the dog and the handler keeps the dog facing in the opposite direction. Now giving the dog a really good sniff of that scent. Hard thing to train, but once it's done, these dogs get very good. They really get the scent on there. That's it. Oh, plenty. So, well, you know where it is. They haven't changed the position. No one else has handled these cloths. They're just out. The dog may explore them in any way it feels. Oh, oh no. That would be a fail. In oh, that's a fail. That would be a fail. It brought the wrong one. It didn't actually send them. It's, it's probably given up for the day, bless its heart. It's been working all day. It's fantastic. It obviously didn't do that in the main ring because that would have been a maximum loss of points. But being sent out again, 
trying not to let a dog end on a fail. That's nice. Now it's got it. Wouldn't say that they would have lost points for bringing up the wrong one. It would have been uh, got maximum failure on that particular exercise. But this is a demonstration. We don't care. It's marvellous to see them here. <laughs> Geraldine would be mortified if Jazz had done that in the actual competition. So that's scent discrimination. These are our obedience champions. Now what else is going on down there? Not sure they're walking to join each other, I think, just for possibly a final bow here in the ring. I don't think there's anything else to go on. There's no further exercise. The other two exercises in obedience are a, a two-minute sit, where the dogs are left sitting in the ring all together, and all the handlers go out of the ring. Once they're out of the ring, two minutes they have to sit there in that room. The other one is the ten-minute down, where the dogs all have to lie in the down position, and the handlers are left two minutes. It's, it, it's a bit like watching train try to watch the whole thing, but it's fascinating. Sometimes you get some dogs that uh, that just don't do it but others just are so relaxed and laid back they just stay there perfectly happily until the handlers come back so that's obedience and I find it fascinating and I think the more you know about it the easier it is and the better it is to enjoy and I've thoroughly enjoyed that presentation it's really nice so I'm very pleased with that I'll just hand over to uh, Ray uh, to take the Ray down there in the ring because I don't know anything about this dog our three top obedience dogs of the day here. And Richard Kemble, our chief steward, is going to present a commemorative rosette to our, both our obedience girls and a special rosette to Paul Watts for doing so well. Uh, special so well done, everyone. And if you'd like to do it, we'll circle around Watts. the arena and we can uh, clap you out of the arena. Would you like to do a little fast pace, little circle around the arena? Give a big round of applause, folks.